and welcome to another video and today is a big day we are back on the recovery series and hopefully today we're going to be getting some good some big news so we're in london we're heading to see a physio i've been seeing this not not seeing the guy that sounds we're not, we're not romantically attached i've been seeing him as a physio uh, for the last few weeks i've been speaking to him numer on numerous occasions his name is jared basically he is like some mad next level voodoo achilles guru lucky like He's done NBA stars, he's done like Premier League footballers, he's done world-class athletes. Achilles rupture repairs is literally all he does. I've been very fortunate to find him. I went to see him last week. Um, he scanned my Achilles and it was looking promising. Basically, studies show that if you have 10 millimeters of Achilles thickness at I think three months post-surgery, that bodes really well for like making a full recovery and not re-rupturing it, you know? And when he scanned mine, bearing in mind I'm only five weeks post-surgery, I had 11 millimeters of thickness, mate. So basically, my Achilles is thick as fuck, and also I'm just a genetic freak. So that's good, that's promising. Today we're back, we're six and a half weeks post-surgery, and this is the point, hopefully, big fingers crossed, where you can generally start walking without the boot, right? Without this absolute monstrosity. I'll be honest, this has been amazing, right? Initially, wearing this, as opposed to like, you know, historically where you'd be in a cast, it means you can wait very early. So I was walking like properly pretty much two weeks post-surgery, which is great because it helps the Achilles heal stronger. However, once that novelty wore off, I'm just wearing a massive, huge ski boot like 24 hours a day. I'm having to sleep in it. Like when we're, like, when we're in Curacao and it's like 30 degrees on the beach, really is very far from ideal. So I'm honestly at the point now where I want to throw it off a cliff, like ceremoniously burn it and like dance around it. I'm very much ready to get rid of it. So I'm just praying I can start walking in my shoes today. I'm also praying for some good news in terms of like getting more aggressive with the rehab, the recovery exercises. I'm not doing very much for my lower body and just for like my mental health. I want to start getting more aggressive and doing some more meaningful stuff. Also because I'm just very mindful that the longer this goes on for with me doing very little with my legs, the more muscle I'm gonna lose, the more strength I'm gonna lose, and the harder and the longer it's gonna to be to get that back, right? So, like I said, hopefully, fingers crossed we get some good news. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty friggin' nervous, also excited. The physio is like 20 minutes away. Let's get a taxi and head over there. swollen it's definitely like you know my ankles this is definitely wider and it's as, and the more you walk on it now the yeah. more swollen it's going to get that's quite normal initially yeah it will settle down but initially yeah. that will happen cool any pain any discomfort anything unusual no no severe, it, nothing nothing at all all good the, the you know how i was saying it was it feels less bruised now that the cocaine doesn't feel as bruised to, to, to the touch now yeah is that because you changed the boot or maybe because i'm wearing, maybe I'm wearing it less like you think like i lost 10 hours a night of wearing it that's what must probably make a difference right yeah because i found that you know with the this thing after a while, it, it forms kind of lumps, and obviously, if you're pressing against one of those, like on the plane, I noticed it. I, didn't, I, didn't really, I was thinking, why is it hurting? It was because yeah. this was just pressing into it. Um, otherwise, uneventful. Yeah, great. Good, mate. I mean, I, I, I might be wrong, but I feel like I've at least stemmed the atrophy now because doing the those little weighted calf raises is much more of a stimulus than what I was doing before. Yeah, it feels like I'm. <laughs> Still not enough for me, but it feels like I'm doing. It feels like I'm doing something, you know. Yeah. Like, it feels like it's something. Good. So no soreness. No, nah, all good. When I pull the scar, that's all right? Yeah, it feels good. Nothing? I mean, it does feel good, but it doesn't hurt. But there's no pinching, no altered sensation, no numbness? No. Good, that looks nice. I get the odd, when I rub my thumb down, I get the odd little, you know, like a little nodule kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Popping kind of feeling. That's no, good, it's quiet. You know, that's all we really want. It shouldn't be eventful. Yeah. Um, at this point, anyway, you're now six and a half, almost yeah, seven weeks. Almost seven, yeah. Yeah. So. Round up to seven or so. Yeah. yeah. So no, it's good. It's it's kind of where we want you at the moment. The joints are moving nicely. The tendon's thicker. Um, so let's get you walking. Yes, mate. Do you want to um, jump off a bike for me? So again, jump off. Yeah, please. So what I want you to do it's it's very very short strides. Yeah. So essentially, it's like this. Okay. That is normal as you think you can. Okay. So go back a little bit. Good. So just really short steps to start yeah. with. 
So should I be you're just keeping your knee very straight? Yeah, that's what I'm not sure about. Because that obviously I could push it into. Yeah, that's, okay. that's okay. At this okay. Point. Okay. Just while the strides are very short, when you walk outside, obviously you wear your shoe with it. You're raising yeah. it to make life easier. Yeah. But so I can push my knee a bit. That's okay. A little bit. Yeah. Which one? Okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They see what you mean. Yeah. So well, you're, okay, you're happy to bring your left much further than your right because you can get over your right. Yeah. Try and make them the same. Okay. The reason being is when you do start to walk normally, when you do have the range, it'll be very antalgic. It'll look very abnormal. So try and start normal from the beginning. So like this, look straight ahead. Like, almost like you're walking on the spot. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that feels good. And that's it was weird if it was actually was less it was a little bit yeah. more normal than what it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, as you start to use it, so but that's really really normal. I mean, don't don't yeah. stress about it. Okay. The, the swelling and thickness will will normalise and then reduce over time. Yeah. Um, some of the exercises we we do, you will notice that you feel a little stretch. That's fine. Yeah. As long as everything is slow and yeah. not too heavy, yeah. the risk of rupture reduces. Yeah. It's things like we discussed before. You know, slippery surfaces, stairs in particular, yeah. tripping over things. Yeah. Those things are where the risk is. Yeah. And you, your the risk remains. In the one, yeah. Yeah, your risk remains until three, four months. So okay. for the next six weeks, you have to be even more careful because you're not yeah. in a boat. This is the first time I've had a shoe on this foot in literally two okay, months. Feels weird. So it's your goal weird. now is as soon as you stand up, on that. I <laughs> want you to short step it yeah. all the way to the gym. Okay? Where is so, the gym? Down the road. No, down there. <laughs> okay. Again here, yeah, because I know you, I'm, I've been really mindful since last week where you were saying about never never getting about that last 10, 15% of really trying to push up. But I know you said about not going on my toes, like still, that's still the, the case, just go. I want you to go as high as you can, but the difference is, is that I want you to be on your toes because you use another tendon called flexor hallucis long. It's the one that, yeah, so just stay on the balls of your feet, go nice and high, that's it, perfect because that tendon will hypertrophy or get bigger anyway yeah. as, a, as a function of this procedure. Yeah. But you don't want to exaggerate it. Yeah. The other thing is to see you're using your quad a little bit. How do I not do that? You just got to focus on your calf. Okay. And the other way is actually just lean forward. Sit so, there like that. Yeah, but I mean, if I just, if I just contract, focus my, on, if I exactly. contract it deliberately, that makes a difference. Yeah. The weight is very, very light, and so that can be a bit more challenging. It's probably a lot lighter than the weight that you've been using. Is this a better setup than putting a dumbbell on it? Yeah. I, that's, I was going to ask you about that, actually. Obviously, it's impossible to answer, but like, it stresses me out. Like, I can't get my head around like why it happened because it was the most innocuous incident. Like, you know, I'd much rather it had been like a car accident or someone had kicked me or fallen over. Nothing happened. Like, for, I remember thinking, this is weird. Nothing's happened. Like. I took a little, I was jogging, the ball was there. I think I took a little step, maybe turned a bit, and yeah. it was just like out of um, nowhere. A lot of it is related to what you had done in the last or the preceding few weeks. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of different factors from, you know, environmental, like what had you been doing the last two weeks? I've had patients that have, you know, one guy was, you know, I've been practicing the high jump with my daughter yeah. at the school carnival, yeah. and then he ruptured the following day. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes it's just what you've done previous to it. Sometimes it's, unfortunately, I dare say it, but it is genetics. There is a, there is a polymorphism that when expressed, yeah. people are more inclined to have tendinopathy and then subsequently rupture. There are a bunch of rugby and football players that are in England that are, they have a sibling, whether it be a yeah. brother and, or a sister, and they've also, yeah. they've both siblings have ruptured yeah. or have tendinopathy. So there is a genetic disposition, but sometimes it's more just about the training load prior to the rupture. How far back should I be coming? Just as is comfortable. Okay. That's it. Good. How's that feel? More. That feels better, yeah, that feels yeah. nice. Should I be, um, but like, coming back and avoiding, I don't want to feel a stretch. Really yeah, don't be it. passive with it, so don't let it pull your foot back yeah. and relax. But you can come back slowly. Yeah. With the calf raises, I'll be really mindful of doing them slowly, so it takes like, one set takes about four minutes, because I'm going to yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're walking, you're getting more range than this exactly. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that, even that, to be honest, that, I can feel that feel more almost like a sciatic nerve stretch more so than the, uh, the Achilles, to be honest. Yeah. You, you would be surprised how quickly things turn around and how you feel differently. Yeah. But in the first two weeks, I want you to yeah. be careful, I want you to protect it. Okay. Well, that's exciting. That's way better. That's 
that's exceeded my what I thought I'd be doing. Right? Like, I don't know. I didn't think I'd be doing that much. That's awesome. Yeah. That. And in two weeks' time, you know, let's see how you feel. You should come in walking a bit more normally. Yeah. And then we can start looking at you know yeah. squats and oh deadlifts. I can do and like even just literally one plate, like not, not even that squat the bar, mate, I'll be buzzing to do that, just, I'm looking forward to that. If I was to go to the gym with the Smith machine and just sit back, don't ever let my any forward knee travel, would that be okay at this point? Or are you still not to? in the next week, okay. but just get used to not being in the boot anymore. If you put too much load stimulus yeah, into it, yeah. it will swell. The combination of walking and also doing that shit, that makes sense. Things Honestly, will just get fine. sore and you'll find in the morning, I, I will guarantee you tomorrow morning you'll be stiff. Yeah. Okay. But then that should be less as the, as the days progress. I mean, if I can squat and deadlift, even like I said, zero weight in two weeks, I'll be absolutely buzzing. That's it. I feel like my life will be back, Carlo. That's it. Be game on. I'm keen to see where you go with okay. it. I'm going to come back in two weeks with this one. Incredible whole cars. Yeah. This afternoon, we've got a video of Max, uh, Max deadlift. Max's video, one room. That would be a nightmare. That genuinely would be like my biggest nightmare. <laughs> Obviously, the, the text message that comes in and I think I've done something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mate, I didn't tell you, but you know, when I went to Curacao just now, yeah, uh, when I went, when I was at the airport to fly out with my boot on, I was pushing the buggy and my, where obviously the boot's bigger than my foot, my foot got caught on the wheel and it pulled it like this. Now obviously you can't force a flex in the boot, yeah. but I had the feeling of like, the stretch and I out. felt sick and I was like, I've just re ruptured my Achilles, but like, <laughs> within two minutes I felt completely fine. Yeah, but I still was in a few hours and the whole flight I was like shitting myself because I thought I'd done yeah. something. But Alright, right, nice one dude. That's it. Pleasure. Yeah, see you in a couple of mate. Oh my god. Okay, this may be the greatest day of my life. Uh, I cannot tell you how good it feels to be walking like in a shoe, like as if mate, look at my foot. I'm wearing a shoe and it feels sick. I'm obviously going to be careful, but it genuinely feels sick. Uh, and the best thing of all is, he said, and I've got it on camera, in two weeks max, I can squat and deadlift. So this is, hey, does, does it get any better than this? I'm saying no. Anyway, I've not eaten near enough today. So I think there's a pizza place down there. Let's go and make some magic. Never had to concentrate so hard on walking. Like, I'm literally having to think about walking. That's, this is mad. Like relearning how to walk. Right, we have been walking for about 10 minutes and we've gone 0.1 miles. <laughs> for the next week, no one wants to go on a walk with me because I'm going to be the slowest man in the UK, I'm sorry. You're literally, you're faster, honestly. You are currently much faster than me. I, I was looking at those muscles, what the hell's happening? And then I saw what I'm you were carrying. for the first time. No, I, I saw what you were carrying the boot. Just abandoned it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty similar speed. I'm not, I'll, I'm I'll, not race you to that, I'll race you to that lamp. No. <laughs> I've just had a stroke. All right, thank you very much. We are in a place called Rosso Pomodoro, which means, if my Italian serves me correctly, red tomato, I think. You're welcome. Some knowledge there. Uh, I've got like a, what's it called? It's called a three, a three way, not a three way, but it is like essentially three different stages. So like margarita, some kind of salami vibe, and then like a meat vibe. It looks pretty sick to be honest. I do a combination of calories, uh, carbs, and protein pre-workout, because we're gonna go and train at some point. I figured, to add some substance to this section of the video, I would answer a few questions, right? Because I've been getting loads of questions about the injury, about what's going on. I thought I'd put it out there. So first up, we have Puppy Dog. Mm, puppy Dogs. It, it literally pains me to say that, but that's the person's name. How has the pain been since the surgery? To be honest, like, the whole time, there's been a weird lack of pain. Like, I assumed a ruptured Achilles, because that's like one of the worst injuries you're gonna get, right? I thought it would be, like, you know, bad. When I first did it, I had like, there was a big loud pop that I felt. And then for that evening, for a couple of hours, it was, you know, excruciatingly painful. Aside from that, pretty much nothing. I had no pain before, you know, like leading up to surgery. After surgery, it was a bit sore, but that was more the wound. The actual injury, I've had almost no pain. Like pretty weird, but apparently that's quite a common thing with ruptured Achilles. Journey with CJB. How has the leg affected adult relations? Now that's, that's a very common question, or that's worded in a very nice way. By the way, on a side note, this pizza is unbelievable. Um, so, I mean, it hasn't, obviously initially, not ideal because I was, you know, I had a ruptured Achilles. Now, the only impact really is the fact that I'm wearing a massive boot, right? So like, if you can imagine a scenario when that's about to occur, 
having an enormous ski boot on your foot firstly is not ideal mechanically speaking and secondly it's not the vibe, you know what I mean that is not the vibe you want when you're in that position really. Eloise Wilkinson, how will you try to make sure you don't injure yourself again in the exercise you'll modify? Um, touch on it in there, to be honest, like one big part of it is like you, you can't. What happened to me, obviously I could have just not played football and I may never play again to be honest but largely that was just unlucky I, I think. I think it was just one of those freak things that like came out of nowhere. Maybe one thing definitely I've been aware of uh, that we've, we've discussed is like I obviously train squats and deadlifts very frequently, very heavy. My, my hips and knees are very strong as a result. I haven't ever, I don't think I've ever trained calves in my life. <laughs> Specifically just targeted just calves. I never ever ever do it. So the discrepancy between my hip, the, the force that my hips and knees can generate versus my ankle must be pretty serious. And therefore maybe my Achilles was susceptible because the angle couldn't support that. So my plan now, I'm telling you now, right? You heard it here first. I'm about to grow the biggest, strongest calves the world's ever seen. I'm gonna make a video on it, like, wait and see. I'm gonna get some disgustingly bigger, strong calves to make sure it never happens again. I need to film this, it's terrible. He's stealing the water. It's not stealing, this is weird, we've been given it. He's used the water. It's really satisfying as well. How satisfying is that? Pizza is done. It was absolutely spectacular. I feel like I'm on a high. I feel like I'm on an Achilles recovery induced high. I'm absolutely buzzing. But I literally can't get over how good this feels. Anyway, there is a gym. I can literally see it. It's right there. Anytime fitness. We're going to go in there uh, because we have a session to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. No, I completely agree. We go 5k, but then we also have the training with me. Yeah, the, like the main winner. Yeah, yeah, sick. All right. Okay, sounds good, mate. Okay, it is all kicking off. So that was confirmation of the Morsia, the next Morsia transformation challenge. We're going live in the next week or two. Prizes are going to be five thousand pounds, right? So five winners, a thousand pounds each, plus the, the the main top winner, as well as a thousand pounds cash. I'm going to transport you to where I live. We're going to hang out. We're going to train in my gym, and we're going to get some food, like as if, John. I mean, can you believe that? Keith shaking his head, he can't believe it, and he's in disbelief. It's been mad. I mean, we've now, after this challenge, right, we'll have given away £25,000 to members of the Morsa app in the last, like, 18 months. Like, you will not find that elsewhere. The app is absolutely nuts. Best fitness app on the planet, and the best thing is it continues to get better. So, top link in the description. If you want to come and see what all the fuss is about, you can get a seven-day free trial right now. And then when you're in the app, you are automatically entered into any of the challenges we do. So win some money, get in great shape, what a great time to be alive. Anyway, speaking of great times to be alive, right now is one of those times. I'm about to do a bit of a weird mishmash session, maybe a little bit of arms, but then we'll try and do some leg stuff. We'll see what we can do. Maybe some little carpets uh, sprinkle within the session. Should be great. I'm excited. I'm on an absolute high. Let's go. I don't have the time, bro. I don't wear a watch. I'ma move regardless, just like the clock. Been around here before, I've been on this block. 25 to life, bit I live on this rock. Planet Mars, dog, my planet raw. Took trips and landed far, took hits I can't ignore. Match is arms done. I never ever used to train arms as a thing, like ever, but since the injury, obviously all of my big leg days are now gone. Like I'm not doing any sports deadlift, so it's almost freed up like 50% more time for me, you know, so. Arms are a semi-frequent occurrence for me. Anyway, got a nice bump, that was good. We're now gonna do some legs. It's gonna be similar stuff like leg extensions, leg curls, maybe some form of calf race if I can do it. All hell, almighty freedom I chose. Tall tales, my eyes see to my road. Don't look at the clock, I don't even got time I seen people ride, I seen people stop I seen people let it pass by I seen evil, maybe that's why I seen needles next to that wine I seen demons and I seen signs I need reason, you don't need mine Once I took a roll of that dice That shit took a Session is done It was good uh, Mediocre, I mean the leg element just then It was the first time not wearing a boot So doing those leg curls with the pressure on my Achilles was a bit sketchy But I kept the weight light and it felt okay to be fair I had to get used to it, I guess. Uh, the other stuff was all fine. Uh, on a side note, this absolutely wondrous tank is part of the Gymshark Legacy range and it's sick. Uh, link to Gymshark in the description, as always. You want to get some nice active wear, go and get involved. That, my friends, is the video.
Joel, closing thoughts, what are you saying? Good day overall. Good day overall. Terrible, terrible input. It's been like, it has exceeded my wildest expectations. So much so that there is a police car heading towards me right now. <laughs> I'm about to be under arrest for having the world's fastest repairing Achilles. Like I thought, I was thinking, you know, best case today, start phasing the boot out, maybe do a little bit of walking without the boot. Uh, yeah, the fact that I can now just get rid of the boot, like this is gonna go on the bonfire. The fact that I can potentially squat and deadlift in a couple of weeks, like what a time to be alive. But that is that guys, we are done. If you enjoyed it, please drop it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.